how this is going to run. This is basically a debate to cut his liqueur. And we, here we have three physicians, uh, a, a um, infectious diseases specialist, um, a rheumatologist, and a paediatrician. I'm a GP, and here we have two and a half uh, <laughs> surgeons. This, she will be coming. Kate Drummond's just delayed in the traffic, but she's on her way. And we've, and we've got uh, Bruce w w Waxman and Julian, help me out, Smith. Smith. <laughs> I, I, you know, you think, how does he not know who Julian Smith is? <laughs> but actually, I, I'm, you won't guess this, I'm actually English. <laughs> and so I've only been in this country for about four years, and although I, although I teach at Monash, I haven't really understood who all these hugely important people are, and so I, I apologise to Julian. Okay, so what's going to happen is, I'm going to, each of us has got five minutes to explain to you something about us, about our career, about you know medicine, why we went into medicine maybe, why we chose our specialty, what's good about our specialty, what's bad about our specialty. We're not trying to score points, we're trying to really inform you so that maybe something might ring a bell and you might think, that, that sounds maybe for me in five years time or whatever it is. I don't think I would have done my job properly if by the end of this debate these people have ripped off their jackets and have an all-out fight in front of you for everyone's delight, okay? So we're hoping that it's nicely combative, a bit of humour, and a little bit educational. So, I'm going to start, and, and sorry, having um, each person having spoken for five minutes, apparently Hannah's going to ring a bell, and... If they don't stop, then I've got some equipment. So we've got a, we've got a drum, and now I'll drum them out. Okay. So after five minutes, if we keep going, all you'll hear is the drum. We've also got, because I'm English, we've got a, in soccer. If people misbehave, you know, the, the referee issues a red card. So we, we're gonna. Be, if, if someone issues a red card, they can't say anything for at least three minutes. Okay? So we're going to have some liberal use of red cards. <laughs> uh, you don't get a yellow card. These people do know about English soccer. When you commit your first offence, you get your yellow card. But we're going straight into red flag, red, not red flag, what is this? <laughs> red card, you're out. You're sin bin for three minutes. Okay? And um, so at the end of each uh, specialist talking for five minutes, I'll ask them a question. Now, I, Hannah's given me some, squish, some questions. And we're, we'll just sort of keep it going, maybe a question or two, and then we move on to the next question. So we're going to alternate from physician to surgeon to back again. And then um, we're going to have some more general discussions. And also, the, each panel can ask each other a question, just to really drill it down. I hope that makes no sense, but we'll, I think we just get kind of get going, okay? So, I'm, I'm, where's, where's Hannah? My, okay, I'm going to speak now about general practice for five minutes. <laughs> All about me. So I'll tell you a bit, of, a bit about me. That's much more interesting. So uh, I was, you know, I'm from London, and I trained. Uh, I did a degree. Then I went to med medical school in London, and then I thought, well, you know, as you go through, you you think, well, I liked everything, Frank. Frankly, I like ONG, I like Pete, I like medicine, I like surgery, and I thought, well, what do you do with all this? You've got to choose one or the other. And by the time I got to intern level, I thought, well, I think I'll go for medicine. But I always remembered there was a guy who I did my GP attachment with, uh, uh, I can remember his name, Donald Craig, and he was just charismatic for me. He was just so bright, and he was different to any other GP that I've ever met. He was very thoughtful, and he just seemed to imbue a kind of confidence. And it just, he just had an immense uh, effect on me. And I was going, about to get married, I was coming out of internship, and I thought, hang on, do I really want to be a physician? And I thought maybe one way to combine a decent working and home life, and also keep studying, you know, keep up to date with all the things I've enjoyed, why not try, and remember Donald Craig, why not try being a GP? And I, I then started to explore it, went to visit some places, and I went for it. Now, you may think, well, what is general practice? It's more than, you may think, oh, it's just coughs and colds. How boring. Uh, I love coughs and colds. <laughs> <laughs> we 
when patients come in with a tonsillitis, I say, oh, thank you, God. <laughs> Something fairly easy, I can, you know, it's not life-threatening. I come out, you know, you have nice rapport and all the rest of it. But that, for me, is a time saver. The, the, so you, you learn to just love those simple consults, relatively simple consults. Because the thing about general practice is it, it's incredibly difficult. You may, it's, a, it's a speciality on its own. It really... Is that? Oh. <laughs> is that not one minute? Three minutes ago. Okay. Um, so um, I thought... I've lost my thread. Hang on. What, um, I know what it is. It, it's a specialty in its own right. And you don't realise this. You just think, oh, in the old days, people used to come out of it an internship, go straight to general practice and practice for 40 years. That's what John Murta did. He's pretty good at it. But, you know, that's, he didn't have a formal training. Now, we realise that becoming a GP is incredibly challenging. And the hospital doctors who come, come be our GP registrars, because I not only teach the fourth years here, I actually got another job, I, I moonlight, and I've, I've got another job and I teach the GP registrars on the VMA training program, and they're with us for a couple of years. And they really, really struggle with the breadth of general practice, the, uh, the complexity of general practice. It's all very well to know that someone with extra profession ought to also have water in. That's easy. But what's difficult is this 85-year-old is a little bit forgetful, who's got rheumatoid arthritis, who's also got extra fibrillation, she's also a bit depressed, and she's on eight drugs already. Is it good for her to have warfarin? And that kind of judgment requires a lot of experience and really is really very challenging. So I like general practice for the breadth. It's really difficult to keep up to date with all that kind of thing. It's I like the fact that you get to know families. It's a bit of a, an old-fashioned phrase, being the family doctor. But it really is very rewarding to get to know families over a period of time, follow them up, look after their children, look after their dad who died, and people are immensely loyal to you. And you get to understand why people are as they are, because you see someone for a year or two, and suddenly you meet her mother, and you think, oh, God, now I understand why she's like that. <laughs> And then you can meet the aunt and the nephews, and you didn't realise they were all connected. That's family medicine. Um, it, so it is difficult, and you, you can't really do, I think, just tetanus and general practice for 30 years. I got a bit burnt out in the UK, and I reinvented myself. I became a medical educator. And you can do different things in general practice. You don't just have to see patients. You can specialise. I, I specialise in dermatology, so I like dermatology within general practice. I'm not a dermatologist. And so it gives this huge variety. You, you can do any number of things, medical, legal, journalism, politics, specialties, education, anything like that. So I commend general practice to you, really. Um, I'm obviously passionate about it. If, if any of you ever get ill, say you have, as you get older, you want to, you need a good GP. You need a decent cardiac surgeon too. Sure, I accept that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to stop drumming myself out. Right. Okay. So, I'm going to stop. Okay. And that's uh, just a brief intro to general practice. So now, we're going to move to one of our, this is where the real debate comes, okay? I haven't addressed a couple cure. I think I'm allowed to be impartial on that one, okay? I'm very balanced. GPs are nice guys. They don't like us. <laughs>